Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has raised not only one of the most talented rappers and actors in the game, but she also taught him to put family first. Never forget where he comes from and to give back to his community. Please welcome Ludacris mother and CEO of the Ludacris Foundation, Ludo Foundation, Roberta, Roberta Shields. Yay! How are you? Wonderful. How are you doing? I am well. I am well. But this is a big, big weekend yes. coming up for you. <laughs> It's been an amazing week. Yes, yes, yes. So how do you feel? I mean, you, you poured so much into Ludacris with raising him properly. Um, we, we heard him now on the radio. He's always been a hard worker. How do you feel about his success? Amazing. Yes. I'm very proud of him. I like to say every day. Yes. You know, I'm proud for many different reasons, not just the success that he has in music, the family man, the father, the husband. Mm -hmm. um, the philanthropist mm -hmm. and um, you know he just keeps he's multi-talented mm -hmm. and he keeps going in a different he's, direction he's evolving. yeah he keeps evolving mm -hmm. yes well you are a grandmother and so how does that <laughs> how, how do you view seeing Ludacris as a father oh oh I enjoy seeing him as a father I think that um, he's very focused on his children's education mm -hmm. and he also um, has his sister's daughter Mm -hmm. And so education is first in the house, and I love that. And um, he stays healthy, so the children as well eat mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. you know, yesterday we had an amazing event with uh, <laughs> senior citizens, and we did seniors and grands. Mm, and so they awesome. worked out with us, yes. Aww. Yeah, that was good. Now, Ludacris, as we know, is very, very talented. Yes, he is. And when we're, when we're children, well, I'm a mother, I have two sons, and you can always see like, okay, it's something in you that's going to make you special. Mm -hmm. What was that moment when in Ludacris that you saw in him that you knew this child is going to do big mm -hmm. things? Mm -hmm. Wow. I always thought that he was special, and I think that every parent mm -hmm. should think that their child mm -hmm. is special. Mm -hmm. um, understanding that he was going to be in the music industry mm -hmm. it would be the big aha and I think that's when some 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 producers came to me and Chris was about 10 and they said wow. well we wanted to talk to the mother of the singer and I'm like the mother of the singer mm. and of course you know and I was thinking why are they so interested in these young boys mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they said because they're just as interested in what's going on on the boards as they are in front of the microphone. Wow. So at such a young that, age. Mm -hmm. it, it's a, such a young age. I seen him go into a garage studio mm -hmm. and see him take the lead and actually put somebody out because they weren't ready. And mm -hmm. Chris said, you know, you you practice before we get in the studio, but we're spending money. And this ten year old kid, wow. you know, saying to his friend, so we're gonna lay your track down later <laughs> after you've practiced. When you get it together, that's, that's what I'm saying. A child like that, you yes. just you. Yeah. At that moment, I said, "Okay, see." Because <laughs> he took you, the you initiative, turn and he was <laughs> a natural leader. Yes. And I think that I thought that it was something that you know all kids did, sang on the corner and did those mm -hmm. things. But to see him in an environment where he was more accustomed to than I, you know, mm -hmm. and as a mother, you kind of mm -hmm. teach your children mm -hmm. everything and then to see them teach you. So that was a teaching moment for me, mm -hmm. and it was amazing to see him take yeah. leadership yeah. and yeah. understand this is my craft. And he told me, Mom, this is what I love. Yeah. I think when he went to college, I said, you don't want to go do the frat thing and all that? And he said, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Now, Music is what I love. Mm. And we see it. Oh, absolutely. Because I love all his songs. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and, and I just want to move, get out the way. All, all that. I still listen to that. I, this to, day. Did it this day. He mm -hmm. just did it down to the on to the on the run tour. Wow. I just saw him on the internet. Yeah. And, and speak, you know, because everything's on the internet. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> speaking of Luda Weekend, it's synonymous with Labor Day Weekend. Mm -hmm. um, after this amazing weekend where he has all these amazing celebrities and, and, and you know, and, and people down to the to the Atlanta, what is the lasting effect on the city and the people that you think? What is the impact? I think the impact is that, it, you know, it's about the celebrities, but it's also about the community. Yeah. You know, we did 100 young ladies walking into a, conf a, um, a conference, a workshop about uplifting their spirit mm -hmm. and having confidence in who they are, understanding that branding is 
what they're putting out there mm -hmm. on social media mm -hmm. and controlling your narrative there. And so that was an impact. And not only did it impact those young girls, to see the fathers get up and be so proud of their yeah. girls. You know, yeah. yesterday we were with senior citizens with my grandkids doing mm -hmm. um, an event. And um, then we have, our, I think, one of our most amazing give backs is going to be Luda Fam Day. And we're mm -hmm. expecting artists to perform. Yes. We're expecting social um, services out there. Last year we did 2,000 services. Mm -hmm. We expect to triple that. Mm -hmm. um, but Luda Fam Day, because family is important to yes. our communities, mm -hmm. our communities are important to our cities. Mm -hmm. So Luda mm -hmm. Fam Day is that piece in which we are giving back as a family Absolutely. to our community. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, yeah. the fun stuff yes, with the golf is. tournament, with the Top Golf, mm -hmm. with the um, taking kids out to the yes. ballpark. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got a team going out there where an African-American team may never have been able to be on the Braves mm -hmm. field. Right. So we are impacting not just this week, but all through the but year. Throughout. I love yeah. that. Well, I, we just want to thank you so much yes. for joining us. We know that you're the CEO of the Luda Foundation. We just want to thank you for all that you do, as well as your son, Ludacris. Um, we will, uh, at any given moment, I, I suppose. We can't wait till your son comes down to the circle. Yeah, well, I would love to see and, him uh, at the circle. And good luck on the Luda weekend. Yeah. Because and we anybody that wants to be the out there this weekend, just we go out to, to our website, mm -hmm. ludicrousfoundation.org, yes. and register, and we will see you there. We've got free attractions for the kids. It's a fun-filled day. And up next will be Way Back Wednesday. Way Back Wednesday, we will share memories of our first kiss, and you don't want to miss that. You kissed somebody early? I did. Hey.